Hello YouTubers, and in this video I will show you how to have uh, two Arduino serial communication. So I have here two different codes. One on the right side is the transmitter. You would upload this to one Arduino and it would transmit via serial either on or off every 2.5 seconds. And then this other code would have another Arduino which would be connected serially to the first Arduino and this would scan the serial command that is receiving and then execute it. So I'll just go through this code. So let's start with the transmitter. So transmitter code, serial transmitter code is right here. So you would set up the serial port. I did 9600 baud. Then you would delay for a little bit. So one tenth of a second to kind of give it time to, you know, do whatever it does. Then in the main loop, uh, you would print out on and then wait two and a half seconds and then print out off and then wait two and a half seconds and then just loop this forever. As long as Arduino's on, it will loop this. Now, the other code here on the receiver end, declare a, a string here, which I just named it message, but you can name it anything you want. So this is uh, in, the, in this message variable, let's say, whatever is being received, it's gonna get stored in this variable. In the, in the setup part, you would, you would set up the serial port button very important these two have to be the same so 9600 and 9600 both have to be the same you can make it a lot faster like if I click on the serial monitor right here if you look at this baud rate you can go as high as what is this 2 million 1 million so 9600 is very very slow so I mean that's not super slow but it's 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 slow compared to others like a good one to have is uh, this one uh, 115, 20, I mean, 115, 200 is a pretty good speed, but I just did 9600 just for big, just for uh, tutorial purposes. Now, this uh, serial set timeout, this one's very important. What this does, it's set to 50 milliseconds. The default is one second. So if you do not have this, whenever the Arduino sends a command from the transmitter to the receiver, <laughs> It takes one second delay that it times out and there's a there's a pretty pretty good like a one second delay if you don't have this so after it receives a command it delays for one second and then it starts to execute to go against that you set the timeout to 50 milliseconds so whenever a command is received only short amount of time is for the timeout and then it will execute it with pretty much no delay so you want this little bit of delay here to kind of let the Arduino warm up then we set the pin 3 as output. So as you can see this um, LED is flashing. It is connected to pin 3 of the Arduino. Arduino Nano. And both of these are connected um, via serial. So we have the transmitter from this side is connected to the receiver on this side. So pin 1 connected to pin 2 and pin 2 on this Arduino connected to pin 1 on this Arduino. And I have just a uh, pull-up resistor on the receiver side on the on Arduino, and then these are just nothing else is connected. So these go to uh, positive bar and ground, positive bar and ground, and then these uh, orange and red wires here they connect the two bus ter terminals to each other. In the main loop, it scans for a serial activity. If there's serial activity, it will store it in the message and then it will delay just a little bit, four milliseconds, and then if the message is on, then turn the LED three on, high. So this LED gets turned on every time it receives an on, and it will turn off. If message is off, turn off the LED off, okay? So as you can see, the LED is on for two and a half seconds, and off for two and a half seconds, on for two and a half seconds, and off two and a half seconds. This is because in this code over here, uh, it is sending on and off every two and a half seconds. And this other side, it scans that in this if functions. If it's that, turn it on. If it's that, turn it off. So this is how you would have one-way serial communication where you have a master and a slave and the master sends commands to the slave and the slave does them. I will make another video to where each of these communicate with each other. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you so much.